Hi, my name is Brian Smith, and in this video I'm going to cover the basics of using containers in RHEL 8 Beta with a Podman and Builder Utilities. Podman lets us download and run containers, and Buildus allows us to build new containers. RHEL 8 has a module named Container Tools that includes Podman, Builder, and several other tools. If you're not familiar with RHEL 8 modules, please view my previous video on the topic. We'll start by running yum module list. This will list out all the available modules in this RHEL 8 Beta system, and as you can see we have one named Container-Tools. And if we want to install this on the server, we can simply run a yum module install container dash tools. And we'll go ahead and press enter here. And I already have it installed on this system, so there's nothing to install. Once you install this module, it will create a file called Etsy containers registry.conf. This file contains the container registries that will be searched when you use Podman and Builda. And you can see we have three registries, registry.redhat.io, quay.io, and docker.io. Note that with the registry.redhat.io, you have to log in and authenticate before you can download from this uh, container registry. And you log in with your Red Hat uh, customer portal account. I've already logged in, so we're just going to go ahead and skip that step. If we want to search for available containers within these registries, we can do a podman search and then put a term that we're searching for. In this example, we're going to search for Nextcloud container images. So at this point, it'll search those three registries that were enabled by default, and we'll get a list here of the results. And you can see the top result here is a the official Nextcloud image from Docker.io. So what we'll do is, if we want to see more information, we can run Scopio inspect and give it the path to that Docker image. And this will go out and collect some information about the container image and display it here. We can see all the tags that are available, and we can also see things like when it was created, the architecture, and information about the layers that make up that container. If we want to download this container, we can do a podman pull and then give it the, the path. I've already downloaded it, so there's nothing elsewhere to download. And we can go ahead and run this container with a podman run minus D, which runs in a detach mode. And we're going to do a minus P to forward port 8080 on the host into port 80 on the container. And we'll use the next cloud image. Now, of course, if you were going to do this in a real environment, you'd want to set up some persistent volumes so your data was persistent. This is just an example, so we're not going to worry about the persistent volumes. All right, we're going to go ahead and switch back to a web browser here. And we're going to go to localhost port 8080 which was forwarded to 80 on the container. And you can see we're here at a Nextcloud um, setup screen, and we're going to go ahead and create an admin account. And then we're going to click Finish Setup to go ahead and set up our Nextcloud container. We'll go ahead and switch back to the command line and run a couple of commands while that setup is running. If we run Podman PS, we can see a list of the running containers on this system. You can see we have our Nextcloud container here running, and we can see that that port 8080 is forwarded to port 80 on the container. And if we run Podman images, we can see the images that are downloaded on this host. We have the Nextcloud image and a RHEL 8 beta image that we'll use um, in a future example here. All right, let's switch back to the web browser, and you can see that Nextcloud, um, the setup is done, and we're now logged into Nextcloud, uh, which is running in our container. And we can go here and we can see a couple of the stock photos that come with the next cloud image. All right, let's switch back over to the command line. And now we're going to talk about using Builda to actually build a container. So in this directory, I have two files. I have a Docker file and a Hello World file. If we look at the Docker file, it's a very simple Docker file to build a container. We have from and then the the location that we're going to build the container from, which is the rel8 beta container. We're going to add a hello world file in, and we're going to put at user local bin hello world. And then we're going to set the command for the container to run to that user local bin hello world. And if we cat hello world, it's just a simple script that echoes out some text. Next we'll use builda bud minus t, and then we'll name it hello world, and we're going to build from the current directory, so we'll put a dot. It builds the image, and now if we run a Podman image, we can see our new container is listed as localhost slash hello world. And if we do a Podman run hello world, you can see that the container starts, runs our custom script, which displays the output of the screen, and then the container stops. 
If we want to pull up a shell with this, within this container, we can do a podman run minus it, the name of the image, and then the slash bin slash bash is the command we want to run within the container. So if we run that, the container is created, and we can do things like cat slash etsy slash red hat release, which shows that this is a rel 8 beta container image. And if we run rpm minus qa, we can see there's 184 packages within this container image. We'll go ahead and exit out of the container. And if we run rpm minus qa from the rel 8 host, we can see it has about 1400 packages installed. So you can clearly see within the container we had a different set of packages installed. I hope you get a chance to try out the rel 8 beta and the podman and builda commands. Thanks a lot for watching the video and I hope you have a great day today.